What's going on guys, my name is Connor and today I review for you guys on the Louis Vuitton Monogram Watercolor Jacket. I'm going to be bringing on all the details of this jacket as well as trying it on. So if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to like the subscribe buttons. It really, really does help on my channel and give my videos to more people. And also if you guys are looking to buy anything, sell anything, make sure to reach out to me on Instagram at Connor.Langley and I'll be happy to help you guys there. But with that said, let's get right into the review. Alright guys, so just before I begin trying on and whatnot, I want to go over a few details. First off being the retail cost. This jacket retailed at $2,850 USD, so somewhere around $3,200-ish after tax and shipping. So it is quite expensive for a windbreaker. And this jacket is no longer available on the US site, nor the European site, but it is still left on there. Usually when items sell out, um, it will still be on the site and it will say, hey, we might be back in stock later, check in later. Um, but it's only on the European site and it's not even available there. Um, but they do have a new windbreaker, a new watercolor windbreaker. It's going to be the dark blue one. But I personally prefer this one more and this one's also going to be a lot more standout. Alright guys, so now I have the jacket right here, you guys will be able to see, I still have the tags attached. You guys can see right here is a size 52. The item number is going to be 188Q. Z5. So if you guys want to look it up on the European site, obviously you guys will be able to see it there. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not going to be on the US site anymore. So just go to LouisVuitton.com slash EU. I believe that's what the link is. But trying it on for you guys right now. Obviously I mentioned that it is a size 52, which is usually what I wear as that's kind of like a true size large, which I am. Um, I'm currently 6'3", about 210 pounds. So hopefully that helps a little bit if you guys are trying to compare the fit sizes. Um, but I didn't mention to you guys that it is a pretty thin jacket. I was really surprised when I first put it on. It is extremely, extremely lightweight. And that could be a plus or it could be a minus as it doesn't feel very, very protective when it comes to rain or anything like that. So I would keep that in mind if you guys are looking for a heavier windbreaker or just something where if it's storming that will keep you comfortable. I personally would not wear this if it was raining heavy as I feel like the water would get through and I feel like I would still be cold. But the material on this jacket is going to be 100% polymide. I'll give you guys a good look at it from the front. And just so you guys know, it is not diagonal. I have this jacket straight forward. It's just the zipper that's diagonal. So you guys can see it starts a little bit to my left and ends at the top a little bit to my right. Obviously it's going to be vice versa to you guys, but that is how it comes. Here's how it looks on the front. Here's how it looks in the side, the other side, and the back. And you guys can kind of be the judge of what you guys think of this jacket. Obviously it is extremely, extremely stand out, but especially because of the colors. So when you're walking by people, people are gonna notice the very, very bright colors that you're wearing. And then once they look at what you're wearing, they're obviously gonna be able to tell that it's Louis Vuitton because literally the monogram is all over. It's, it's very, very clear. Some people say like, oh, it's not the brown monogram. It's not the clear monogram, but dude, Look at this flower right here. Look at the monogram right here. It's very, very obvious. But let me know what you guys think in this jacket. It is going to be 100% polyamide. It's going to be made in Italy. And when you guys buy this jacket, it is going to come with the tags, which I already showed you guys, and a cover. So let me see if I can find the cover for you guys really quickly. So here's the cover from Louis Vuitton. And I recommend that whenever you guys are buying a garment from Louis Vuitton, that you guys always keep it in the cover right there because when you guys leave it out, whether it's sitting inside of a closet or outside of a closet where the sunlight from the window is coming in, you don't want dust to get on it because then it will look a little bit dirtier and it will lose its color, especially on the white parts right here. But if you guys keep it where it's not in the closet and it's not really getting too much dust, the sunlight is going to slowly but surely um, take away from the color a little bit. And you want to make sure that when you guys are spending over $3,000, obviously after tax and shipping, on a windbreaker, that it lasts a long time. And with Louis Vuitton products, I always like to mention to you guys that if you guys take care of the product, it will take care of you. So make sure you guys are taking the proper precautions and uh, keeping your jacket alive for a long time. But with that said, let me know what you guys think of this jacket. Let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel. I know I've been kind of mixing up my content between Rolexes and Louis Vuitton. Obviously a few other items as well, but those are really, really what I like to focus on. But let me know what else you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys think of the jacket. Give me some feedback on the video. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.